Hi guys, welcome to this new video on Python. We are going to learn in this video is how to fit different curves on data that you wish to fit that that can be of any degree. Let's say it's a polynomial uh, curve uh, of degree 1, degree 2, degree 3, degree 4, degree 5, whatever you want to do. Along with that, there are some other curves like sinusoidal curve, exponential curve. So we'll see how you can do this thing with Python itself. So let me first uh, import this dependencies. We have NumPy here. We have matplotlib for visualization. From scipy, you have this uh, very important function called as curve fit, which will actually take in data and try to calculate the coefficients of different, different degrees of curve. And then we have this random module to generate some data. So we run this line. We create some sample data of, from the population of uh, 1 to 1000 and we just select 100 points for X and Y. Now this 100 points are generated. Let's visualize it with the scatter plot. Okay, this looks like this. Uh, let us create a data frame out of this. And uh, okay, some drop any. The column names are such. Now we run the scatter plot to see how the data point looks like. So this plotly actually helps you to just visualize that what is the value of X and Y at that particular point. So this, an, this is an interactive chart. So this piece of code I have written to ignore the outliers from your data set. Let's say if you have a lot of outliers in your data set, so you can use the scipy uh, from the scipy.stats. You can just import the Z score and pass the data set to it. And all the outliers you can remove with the help of this piece of code. But for now, we will keep the outliers as, as it is. So let's just run it. So we separate the x and y and now here is the first function. So the main important thing when you whenever you are fitting any curve on any data set uh, with the help of Python is you need to define an objective function here. So this is an objective function. The name of the function is objective. It takes in three values that is x, a and b and it returns a into x into b to give out y. So this is the objective function and this is passed to the curve fit method that we imported from scipy so what it will do is that it will return us all the coefficients that are uh, essential for generating the new y that is it will give us the value of a and b so let's check out how this thing works so you see here that this is the coefficient that we are getting this is the value of a and this is the value of the intercept and this is how the that is linear regression would look like on the data set. Very simple, right? So let's check out for the polynomial regression with degree 2. So for degree 2, the formula is ax square plus bx plus c. So we just need to change the objective function uh, and you and we just need to pass the new objective function along with the same x and y and it will automatically give us the a b and c so this is how the degree 2 curve will fit on the particular data set we do the same thing with the degree 3 so the formula for degree 3 is a x square plus b x square plus c x plus d and you see as we go on increasing the degree there are some changes that you will observe in the line of the curves you will observe more and more variance getting involved Let's do with degree 5. So this is how the curve looks with degree 5. And there is also one more function that I have defined here that is for sinusoidal. So the sinusoidal function is, so the formula for sine function is a into sine of bx plus cx square plus d. And uh, you just pass it to the curve fit object to get the a b c d values and this is how the sine curve will look like so let's say if we have a new value for x so what will be the value for y definitely this would be a question that you will be facing so how to solve it so it's very simple just uh, open a new cell here and just write y is equal to the function itself so pass in this function we print the value of y 
now when you run the you just need to pass a new value of x so let's say that i am passing the value of x as 200 we just rerun the code and you see that we get the new value of y based on the coefficients that we can extract out of the data that we already have so in the similar way you can get the value of y for all other polynomial degrees so i hope that whatever i have shown in this video is clear to you and feel free to ask any doubt that you have regarding this video in the comment section below i will definitely try to reply to them I will also be posting this notebook on my GitHub page and a link would be there in the description below. See you next time.